Okay, so today we're going to show you how to take a nice little oil lamp like this and turn it into a cool actual lamp that'll look something like this. It'll look like this one right here. And we've even made the cap so it controls the dimmer. And so let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is pull the glass out. So if you just pull this all the way up, get that, there we go. You can get that out. Pull these back and the glass will come out. So to start off, this piece here, you can even use just small little wire snips. This is just a little bit easier and faster. And then we can just do a quick little cut around here on the tip. We can clean that up with the Dremel tool. We get a little further along. There we go. So now we have a spot that we can add our light socket. Okay, so now we need to take the Dremel tool and cut right around here in the opening for the wick to make it large enough for the socket and for a bulb to fit through it. Take a grinder to this and kind of soften up those edges so there's no sharp points on there. Okay, so now we're going to take and we're going to cut open the bottom so we can have access to put in the light switch and to do the wiring. Okay, so we've got the bottom cut open. We started the Dremel tool and just went for 10 snips, a little quieter, a little faster. Now we're gonna put the switch up in here inside where the lid goes. And I've found the best way is to take some plumber's tape, cut off a little chunk of that, and we'll cut that so that it'll fit right down inside there round off these edges JB weld that in and then that makes a good mounting position for this switch and all we do these are a little bit just a little bit small for the threads here to fit through so we just use just sand that down a little bit so that it's large enough that it fits over there nicely and then the nut on top holds it in place. And so now we'll just trim this down so that it fits just inside there. Using the lid as kind of a gauge for what size to Trim it down too. And there we go. Fits right in there. We'll just put a little JB weld around the edge just to hold it in place. And that'll be where we mount our dimmer switch. Okay, so now we're going to make the hole in the back for our power cord. You 
can either just use a bigger bit, use a bigger bit, or I like to just use a step bit. get to wiring of the switch okay so now we have our cord coming through we install a little strain relief on the back side here just to keep it away from these sharp edges and now we're going to solder our wires together here Got the cords coming in one going directly to the light socket and then one going over here to our dimmer switch and then back out and up to the light socket Now we've already got our heat shrink. Always make sure you put the heat shrink on before you solder the wires. So that we have the soldering complete. And the wire is all nice and secured. We're going to go ahead and we're going to install our socket right up in where the wick was. We'll take this switch, put it up inside the cap, put the rest of the wires up inside, wrap them around, and then we're going to close this up, grind down any sharp edges, and JB weld this back on closed so it's nice and secure. Okay, so we've got the switch in there. Now we'll take the socket assembly. We had to trim a little bit more out of the inside to get it to fit. Now Come right up there, we'll put our keeper nut on the top. And there we go. Now we have the switch and the light socket. And then I took one of these tops for these switches and just spray painted it black. be a placeholder right now we might do something a little bit different with this now when we go to add the glass back in first thing I notice is that this bulb is in the way and this folding out so if you turn this back so this is loose right here where the socket is then you can get that to turn a little bit and it's a little bit of a, a struggle to get it in there it's not too bad Once that is all the way back on, then you can just take this, re-secure it, and then just handle, let it back down, and there we go. Now we've just made an oil lamp into an actual lamp. So one other thing we've done is we took the normal cap that we'd been using that was sitting right in here which looked, didn't look bad, but we decided to take the lid off and then use the Dremel tool to cut around and then actually just JB weld that right on top. So now the cap is going to be your dimmer switch and you'll be able to just rotate it back and forth. Okay, and here we have a nice little oil lamp now. It has a nice dimmable switch as the cap.
Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave any comments. Let me know what you think.